Hi Virgo, welcome to your love connection reading for the first half of September. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. Please check the description box below for any and all information that you need about me, personal reading information, social media links, um, decks I'm using, tons of stuff there. So please do go check that out, would be greatly appreciated. And before we start, just a quick shout out to all my new subscribers those who have reached out for personal readings, and those who have blessed me with an energy exchange, as in a tip or donation to the channel, is very much appreciated. So thank you, thank you for all your support. It really means a lot to me. I couldn't do it without you guys. So thank you, thank you, and any support you would like to uh, show the channel, as in just a like or a comment, subscribe, would be greatly, greatly appreciated, as it is just a tiny channel. And it would really mean a lot if you would help to it helped to um, have it flourish and grow into something big and beautiful, and we can send these messages out to those who need them. All right, Virgo. Happy birthday, Virgo. This is your love connection reading for the first half of September already. Can you believe that? Where is time going? Hope everybody's doing well. Okay, so let's see what we get here with the Zodiac Oracle. If you don't resonate with what comes out here, that's totally fine. This is sort of like a little extra bonus. So we'll see what we get. All right, for Virgo, what kind of energy may be around Virgo? First half of September for this love connection reading for Virgo. What do we have for Virgo spirit, please? If the rest of the reading may be for you. If you clicked on it, there's something here for you. So if you don't resonate with what comes out here, like I said, that's totally fine. One card. There we go. Thank you. Pisces. So some Virgos could be dealing with a Pisces, a water sign, earth and water. Or they could have Pisces heavily in their chart somewhere. Um, if not, that's totally fine. Okay, so with this deck here, we will get an overall love energy for you, Virgo, first half of September. I can shuffle my cards. <laughs> All right, what's the love, overall love energy for Virgo? First half of September for their person. This can be any kind of connection with anybody you have in mind. So it's not for any specific kind of connection. But we have engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So some of you could actually be getting engaged or this could be just higher levels of engagement, uh, communication, getting together, going on a date, uh, dating exclusively, whatever your situation was before I think it's going up has the energy of it that it could go up a notch so I don't know we'll see okay now we will get one card for you Virgo and how you are feeling in this connection how you are feeling towards your person now I know we do have two females there but that doesn't mean anything um it's just energy so Okay, so, and it could be, some of you could be in a same-sex relationship, as I said. This is any kind of connection with anyone you have in mind. Okay, so, whoops, that one wanted to fly. I'm feeling that one, and this one for your person. See how you are feeling, Virgo, in this connection and about your person. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. So, yep, definitely, definitely. There are feelings here. You have feelings for them. Let's see how they are feeling. Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. Wow. So we have engagement, and then you see, like, this married couple here going off alone into the wilderness or going off alone together, or you know, and it doesn't necessarily mean uh, a honeymoon or anything like that, but... You feel the romantic feelings. You have feeling towards them. They want to spend time alone with you. And that could be with engagement of just spending more time with you and going off alone with you. You know, even if it's just going out for the day or sp spending a lazy day in bed or whatever here. They're definitely wanting to spend 
more time with you. Wow. All right, so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Hmm. But underneath that, we have this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. So, uh, so whether or not, I mean, you could have, oh, and soulmate underneath. I just had to flip and see soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. So, okay, this definitely is your soulmate. Um, the religious factors here, I don't know. I mean, you could have a difference of authenticity, um, nationality, religious factors, or it could be just a very, very spiritual connection here. Can you see those? Okay, so I don't know, we'll see. Or it could be with religious factors here. Um, it's very important, I feel, either for you or them to solidify this connection by maybe actually getting engaged. Because with the religious factors here, some cultures, some religions, that's the right thing to do. Is that you get engaged, you get married, you know, that sort of energy. All right, so let me put these up over here. Okay. All right, so. Oh. So, soulmate energy, wanting to spend more time again with each other. Definitely our romantic feelings towards each other. Both feel like this could be the one. So, maybe you have been proposed to, or there could be a proposal coming, or maybe you want to propose to your person because you feel like that's the right thing to do with religious factors here. I don't know. We'll see. So, let's clarify for you. This is the after tarot. Let's clarify for you. Blech, I could talk. I'm very tired today. <laughs> I've done, I think, this is my eighth reading today. Plus, I worked. Uh, got out early, though. So, all right. Romantic feelings for Virgo. First half of September. Can we clarify, Spirit, please, for Virgo? We have one card. Okay, that one. And I think the top one for your person. Okay, so let's clarify for you. So the Empress, wow. And <laughs> this is, I believe it's Virgo and Taurus. No, Libra and Taurus. So once I drop the card. Oh, sorry about that. Okay. So Empress energy. So being, you know, in your Empress energy. So feeling very... Uh, Feeling like you want to have this new beginning with this person. The Empress is about new beginnings. It's growth, expansion. It's a breath of something new. I feel like you want the whole nine yards with this person. You want a new beginning. You want a home. You want marriage. You want family, children, everything. You want everything. And you know your value and your worth. And you're standing in your Empress energy. And maybe that's the religious factors here is doing the right thing and getting married before starting a family. And that sort of thing so let's see for them so with the two of wands here so again wow so you see two people hand in hand going off together and now it's like the same image here so they're definitely and the two of wands is about making plans decisions so they and this is the after tarot so they know what they want to do they've thought it out they made the decision here they want to mo move forward in this world with you here they've made that decision and this could be the offer this could be the engagement here as you see him handing her the offer the world and she's accepting it wow wow there could be actual engagement here for some of you or maybe you are already engaged all right so let's get your actual situation Virgo, one, two, one more, one more for Virgo, I hope that's two, all right, I guess we'll take them, so what do we have here, we have the Page of Swords, the Eight of Wands, 
the Knight of Cups and Judgment. Wow. So, Page of Swords here, speaking with truth and clarity. That's connected to you, Ear Energy. Um, you know, wanting truth and clarity in the situation here, knowing your value and your worth, telling it like it is and telling them, look, this is what I believe in. This is what I want in this connection. I'm standing up for what I want. I want nothing less. And speaking that with a lot of truth and clarity here. And not afraid. I, I don't know. Maybe you're not even afraid to cut them out if they're not going to give you what you want with that sword. Just standing up for yourself and what you want, what you believe in. And then over here we have judgment connected to them, which is Scorpio. So this is the angel here who brings the soulmates together. So this is making a final judgment call. As I said here, then making a final decision. This is the after tarot. So the two ones about making decisions and plans, but they made their plans and their decision here. And they made that final judgment call. I feel that they want to stand up to you and they want to give you what you deserve which could be engagement, marriage, family, happy home life. Connecting the two of you is the Eight of Wands and the Knight of Cups. So here is the communication, the fast action travel communication. Here's the communication coming in. Also with the action here, offering uh, love. Um, well, he's drinking out of his own cup, but... <laughs> um, you know, maybe he's just checking it to make sure it's okay before he offers it to you. I don't know, but usually the Knight of Cups is um, taking that action and movement forward with um, love, emotions, feelings, offers, love offers. And there's that communication too, passion, love. You knowing your value and worth, knowing what you want, and them making the judgment call and decision here to give you what you want. And then coming forward with fast action, travel communication, and coming in with a cup of love. I think they're just tasting and making sure it's okay that <laughs> you'll accept it. I don't know. <laughs> All right, so let's see what your advice is now, Virgo, in this situation. Virgo, all right, let's see. All right, so we have the Eight of Pentacles in the world. Wow, so, and this is your energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, and we have the world here, which is Earth energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So, your advice is to keep working on this connection because a whole new cycle will start here with this person. This is ending cycles and new cycles, but this is a whole new world, a whole new start, fresh start. Whole new, starting a whole new world with this person and putting in the dedicated effort and the hard work with this person to get this new cycle started. Wow. So your advice is to put in the hard work, dedicated effort to have this new chapter, this new world, this new start with this person. Wow. World is about growth, expansion, new starts, new cycles. Wow. Closing out old cycles. So whatever old cycles that needed to be closed out before you can come together, those are closing out, working hard to do that. Also working to build your future together with the world energy here in this new cycle. So let's see what your outcome could be. The moon. Okay, so this is Cancer Pisces energy. So your outcome is your Pisces. Because <laughs> that's Cancer Pisces. But this is... Um, you know, the, the moon energy is about not, not usually not seeing things clearly. Maybe there are being some secrets or illusions um, being revealed with the moon energy. Uh, I don't know. I just feel like if you're the one that's coming forward to propose or something like that, or they are, I just feel like it it's a big secret here. It's going to be a surprise to you. And it'll just be re revealed to you unexpectedly here that they want this new cycle with you and you're willing to put in the hard work for this new cycle. And maybe, you know, you're not, you weren't sure where this was going to go. 
But with the moon after tarot, this is about knowing the secrets, secrets being revealed, things coming to light. All right, so let's get more clarity now. So you have the Ten of Wands. So this is burden. So um, I'm not sure what kind of burdensome energy could be here. But this is laying down burdens. <sighs> I don't know. Why is that here? Ace of Swords. So this is truth, clarity, uh, clear-cut communication, the sword energy, the sword of victory. This is the divine energy saying this is the truth of the matter. So whatever burning some energy is between you, I think will come to an end. If um, you are both, like if you're not sure what's going to happen or they're unsure about how to come forward to you to propose or whatever, I think they'll just overcome that and they'll figure out, figure out a way to do it because they have made their decision over here and made that final judgment call. And this is the victory here with the sword of truth, victory, new beginning, um, truth of clarity. Again, with the sword energy, standing up for what you believe in, not taking any BS, cutting out energies not serving in the connection, whatever that may be. It could be people around you. It could be your environment. It could be anything. Just your energy towards one another, cutting things out, not serving, what, however whatever energies you were affecting between one another that wasn't serving, cutting that out, cutting out the BS. All right, so we have the seven of wands. So fire energy here. So again, you know, standing up, fighting, being defensive. Um, I don't know, why is that here? So the three of pentacles. So they don't want, you know, if you had some fights or arguments in the past, uh, they don't want to they, they want to work with you here you know maybe you stood up and you told it like it was with the ace of swords the page of swords and said you know if I have to give this up I will if you don't give me what I want I know what I want it maybe caused a little bit of conflict because you stood up for yourself for what you believed in you know defended yourself and now this is the three of pentacles so this is working together teamwork collaboration so and that's your energy or maybe you're just compromising and now working together with them to smooth out the energy here. All right, let's see what else. Nine of Pentacles. So this is the minor of the Empress. So definitely your energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, knowing again your value, your worth, being single, independent. You could take care of yourself. They know that you could take care of yourself, that you don't really need them to take care of you. That you're independent, self-sufficient on your own. You can stand on your own two feet. But so they come in with the offer here with the six of wands and you accept success, victory, accolades, offers. Usually this, this usually is the engagement card of the woman accepting the offer from the man or however you see fit here. But accepting an offer and having success and victory. And here he comes in with the offer and or that's your energy to this person knight of pentacles energy may be a little slow moving here maybe that's why there's a little bit of stagnation with the moon i'm not sure what's going to happen but then here comes the slow steady secure grounded offer it's stable it's tangible it's long lasting wanting to build very slowly for the long haul for the long term with your person see what else here well I don't think that fits in let's see what's on the bottom of the deck the wheel of fortune Sagittarius so fate destiny um, here things going in your favor better luck and timing uh, wealth and prosperity here with the wheel of fortune things going in the right direction to the ten of cups joy happiness family contentment fulfillment in every single way it's a Cancer Pisces energy. Two of Pentacles. Again, this is about decisions as we have two over here. Juggling things around. Ideas, thoughts, feelings. Just things in everyday life. Juggling. But this is a connection here. There is this connection. So again, done juggling and made that final decision to leap right in with the full energy. A 
Aquarius energy here. Jumping right in, taking that leap of faith, restarting, resetting at zero. You go from the world, which is the last of the major arcana, to the fool, which is starting over, starting fresh with a clean slate. And jumping right in, ha jumping right in having faith, and everything will be fine. So, then you know, the Seven of Pentacles, again, may have been a little bit of work here planted the seeds maybe this has been a long uh relationship here and you were wondering gee are we ever going to commit or are we ever going to get engaged or get married seven of pentacles is an energy of patiently waiting you know for the harvest to bloom you know planted the seeds and just waiting 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 assessing evaluating the situation then deciding to jump right in leap of faith done balancing the act now now and ready to make that decision to commit to the Ten of Cups energy. Total joy, happiness, fulfillment in every single way. Happy home and family. Well, <clears throat> so let's see. All right, so let's get some advice and guidance for you, Virgo, for the first half of September. I see, I see, I see engagement on the horizon or just a deeper commitment. A happy long-term commitment with your soulmate. All right. I just saw the Ten of Cups again in this deck. So let's get some extra advice and guidance. Attachment. Hmm. So, and this is five. So, yeah, I feel like you're very attached to this person or they are to you. Um, five is about change. So I don't know if something needs to change in this relationship. If there's any kind of um, attachment still associated to you or them, they need to really let go of here. I see, you know, that detachment has to take place. Or this is a very uh, soulmate, like attachment to them, like a very soulmate energy. But you see that card is kind of dark, so I'm not getting like a good energy with that. Could be somebody still like latching on to one of you that, you know, is like still attached and won't let go. I did see the devil um, over here, which I didn't take. So that could be... Um, Capricorn. So there, there could be somebody who's still a little toxic associated to you or them that just won't let go from their past, maybe. And that needs to change. You know, that person needs to be, uh, they need to, you know, move away from that person with the chariot energy. So I don't know. Let's see. What else? What else do we have for Virgo? first half of September. Well, there you go. Man holding a heart. So there you go. Four, five, 45, 9, which is coming true. Almost completing a cycle here of coming into full union with your soulmate. Here's the man coming in with the pentacle, with the offer, holding his heart in his hand on his sleeve, offering his love, his pentacle, his stability. Wow. Also over here with this passion and the Ace of Swords with truth and clarity. So it's all here on the table. Truth, clarity, passion, love, stability. Anything else for Virgo? The Temple Path. So again, being divinely guided. The Temple Path. Three. So coming together. Again, working together. Teamwork. The Temple Path. I feel... Very divinely guided energy here. Spiritual energy, being spiritually guided in the soulmate union and following that temple path. Bottom of the deck, here in connection. Again, with the five, with change. So, yeah, and there may be still somebody clinging on to you or them who is envious, who is still attaching to uh, you or them in this connection. And they see the caring connection between the two of you. And I think they're jealous here with the envy card. But 
that energy, I don't know, somehow that energy has to be let go of somehow. Angel of Balance, so eight and four, which is 12, which is three, again, about working together, balancing out the energy. Um, this is like the Temperance Angel who is here, who brings the soulmates together, which this is your soulmate. So balancing out the energies, you know, someone needing to get rid of this toxic uh, attached person who's very jealous and envious. Somebody may still be clinging on to you or them. And that may be this moon energy here that maybe you don't know about this person that is still latching onto them. Maybe they're not telling you that. I don't know. But you do have a soulmate connection here, Virgo. And I see uh, leveling it up one notch to some sort of higher commitment here for the future. And I see long-term connection here with the soulmate. Okay, Virgo, I hope this resonated for you. If it didn't, you could check the description box below for past playlists for your sign. There may be something in there that resonates for you. I would say disregard the dates. I do consider them all timeless. So if you find a title you resonate with, I'd say please watch it. So best of luck to you here. If you do like my style and how I read, please do like, share, comment, subscribe. I love to read the comments. If you subscribe, hit the bell. You'll be notified of when new readings are posted. I do bi-weekly general and love, so don't miss out on that. If you hit the bell, I think you hit the first option, which is all notifications. And you will get notifications for other signs readings, so you can just kind of ignore them. I ask, though, if you get a little frustrated because you get all those notifications that you don't unsubscribe, that you just unclick the little bell, you won't get notifications, but you'll still be subscribed. So you go into your subscriptions area and you will see all the videos that have been uploaded from all your subscriptions and you can find my readings in there and find the readings you want to watch and watch them from there okay good luck to you and your love connection here and sending you many light love and blessings so i always say with my channel is to always always shine your light